LSU, it can you believe how different they are than they were this time last year? You get prepared for. Them? Yeah, they're they're a totally uh, different group. Um, I was saying before, like, you know, Pat, you play somebody. A whole nother year goes by, you kind of look back at last year's film to kind of see, you know, if they're doing the same thing, have the same tendencies. You know, I feel like me personally, you know, I haven't even looked back, you know, to last year, you know, game because, you know, I look at nine this year and he's a totally different quarterback, like totally different. Um, he looks poised. Um, you know, he, he's smart and uh, he always could throw the ball. I know he could always throw the ball. And, you know, it, it's crazy, man, that, you know, they look like a totally different, you know, offense. You know, that, that offense that he got kind of spread offense, you know, four wide, five wide type of offense. And, you know, he, he's doing a real good job in the offense. Assuming that this is the uh, ultimate challenge for your secondary, how do you approach that? Man, you just, you know, approach it like every other week, man. But, you know, you got to tell the guys, you know, the ball's going to get put in the air this week, man. There's no question about it. Um, you got to tell them to compete. You know, that's why we came to Auburn, man. You came to Auburn for these type of games. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, Burrow's going to put the ball in the air. That's what it is on Saturday. And my guys and myself, when the opportunity comes, you know, you just got to take advantage of that opportunity and make plays. I mean, yeah, they do it. They do attack you vertical. Uh, just watching film, film on them, they they have a lot of shot plays. But you know, just play top down, man. Keep everything in front of you, and just you know, play the next play. You had last two years against LSU. You guys been on the verge of winning and, and let it get away. How, how, how hard were those two to swallow? What does that mean going into this game? Yeah, those those two was it was really hard to swallow. I remember 2017 year when we was down there. Uh, I think it was up about about 20 points or something like that. And uh, came back, kind of just let our foot off the pedal, you know. And last year, the same thing, you know, just up, up, and, you know, not finishing. So that's that's what's going to happen when the team don't finish. And uh, that's the big uh, word for the, this week. You know, that's my word for this week, just finish. You know, we've been up, you know. I'm not saying what's going to happen this week, but, you know, the past two years, you know, we've been up, up on them, and, you know, they came back every time. So, you know, you just got to finish. Yeah, you know, I had to cheer him up. Um, you know, DT is really hard on himself. You know, I'm hard on myself. You know, the whole defense is really hard on himself when we don't play at the level that we're capable of. And, um, you know, as my as a brother to him, you know, I had to console him because, you know, that's how he get. You know, that's how I get, you know, if if, if I had a uh, you know, couple, you know, nits and that's there. But, you know, he, he's, he's good, man. I, you know, just talked to him last week and, um, you know, just told him to be that player that he is. You know, everybody know what type of player uh, DT is. And, you know, he, he's going to have a, a good, good game this week. How would you describe what Marlon and Barrett have been able to do this year so far? <sighs> man, it's, it's – you can't really put a word around it. Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I've known it's been in them, you know, just – practicing with them all these years, you know, just being in practice and just seeing what they're doing, you know, it's not a big while to me, you know, get what I'm saying? But like I always tell him and tell Derek and, you know, Nick Cole and everybody else on the D-line, you know, it's always room for improvement. You got more in the tank, no matter what, no matter how good the five and three playing, they got more in the tank. And, you know, we just got to keep pushing, man, and just, you know, get better each and every week. This game, for you guys to reach the goal you set for yourself before the season, yes, you really just about have to win this game. Yeah. What does that add to this trip, knowing that? And just really do or die. Like, let's this, this be honest. You need, we need this one to where we want to go, the goals that we got for the team, we need this one. So, man, it's really do or die this week, man. You just lay it all on the line and, you know, just play till that clock hit triple zeros. Man, we've seen a lot of good offenses. Good offenses, um, you know, these past years, and you know they're 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 up there. Um, like I said, man, look like a totally different team. You know, four wide, five wide team, team that's gonna get the ball out quick. Um, that's gonna RPO you. That's gonna take shots down the field. So I mean, they're up there, you know. But it's good that we haven't we seen this type of you no know, offense before. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing new to us. We have seen it, but we have to prepare. You know that it start with preparation. You know this week, and you know we we'll just take this week and. Just treat every day as, you know, is our lives and, you know, just whatever the, the goals and things that we have for each other, man, we just got to keep talking to amongst each other and, you know, tell each other, you know, we have each other back. 
this week. And but man, that offense is like I said before, man. They're they're a really good offense, and you know I can't wait to compete against them. Just the best offense yet this season that will try to take the top off you guys and really challenge you and DT on the back end. Yes, sir. What? Do you feel confident being able to stop them with the receivers being so quick, even that catch those slants and seem to run past everybody? No, I'm confident. What's up? What are your thoughts on opening up as a double digit underdog? Double digit underdog. Yeah, projected y'all to lose by the <laughs> uh, man, you just I don't know who I don't know whoever made that, but I mean it ain't got nothing to do with the game this week, you know what I'm saying? But you know that that is crazy. To be honest with you, I didn't even I didn't even know that. But I mean that 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 don't you know that don't have nothing to do with the game Saturday. So I mean, I mean I'm a pretty already motivated guy, you know what I'm saying? So that right there it ain't gonna you know really add no fuel to the fire, you know? You know what I'm saying? We the fact is that you know since I've been here we haven't beat LSU at LSU. That's just the facts. You know we just trying to make history this week. Jeremiah, you, you talk about being there for Daniel. Marlon was talking about being there for Nick and for each other as brothers. How was that? How valuable is that kind of of relationship you guys have with each other been to this this season? Yeah, and that that that's one thing that I can say that really changed about us. Why we're playing, how we're playing now, because you know we just built them relationships. You know, uh, it's it's bigger than football. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a game that they're not supposed to have or you know he's supposed to play better. You know, you go to him and you just talk about it. You know, it's a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? We know each other's struggles. I know Marlon struggles. He know mine. I know DT struggles. I know Nick Cole struggles. I go down the line. And, you know, that's why we play hard. You know, we play for each other because, you know, if we can lean on each other, you know, everybody got to – we're trying to reach one goal. So we know each other's struggles, knowing what each other people are going through in their everyday habits, their everyday lifestyle, you know, we can be there for them. And, you know, that's what we did, man. The brotherhood is at an all-time high right now.